local communities are coming together to help one of their own. A firefighter lost everything after his home caught fire yesterday. CBS 42 News reporter Hillary Simon spoke to him, and Hillary, he says he was the first one on the scene. Sherry, that's right. Firefighter James Nix was at work in Annsville when he said he got the text alert about a house fire only to recognize the address was his own. He says he raced over and couldn't believe what he was seeing. A house filled with memories is burnt to the ground. Really, I didn't know what to think. Uh, you know, it's, you do it every day, it's, it's not a problem. And then when it's your own home, it's just, it's totally different. It, Firefighter James Nix says like every call, when he's first on scene, he gives an initial report. But this one was hard. My house was completely gone, so I, I couldn't give the full report that I would normally give. You know, it, it just I couldn't get the words out. James Nix is the fire chief of West Jefferson Fire, but he's also a firefighter for Adamsville and Birmingham. He says since the fire, everyone in the community has been gracious. The city of Adamsville helped him start a GoFundMe page. James only put out there that he needed, a, you know, a goal of a thousand dollars, and I'm like, wow. I, I pray that he gets a hundred times that. He's an awesome firefighter. He's a great guy in general. Donations have been pouring in. Clothes, hygiene, money, and toys for his three kids. And they try to save our houses. And to see him going through that every day with others and suddenly be the person on the bad end, his house is what's lost. It's time for us to pay back. James says he feels blessed to have so much help in a community that cares. I mean, you, you know it's a bad thing that everybody, that somebody's lost everything they've had, but now that you've experienced it, it's just, it's, I don't know how to say it. It's just different. Now, James says that they don't know what caused the fire, and because there's nothing left of the home, he says they'll probably never know. But he says he, they will rebuild just happy that no one was home at the time. Hillary Simon, CBS 42 News, local coverage you can count on.